Hello, hello! Welcome to our weekly power training, no fluff power training. So today, so it's the power training, 10 minutes per speaker. Now today I'm going to review with you um, blogging. Why do you want to have your own blog or website? So let me start the presentation. Hello, Devi. Okay, so let's see. Can you see the presentation? Can you see my screen? Hello, Suzanne. Can you see my screen? Can you hear me fine? Okay, perfect. So, why do you really do you really need your own blog or website? If you are an entrepreneur, if you have a business, whether it's a brick and mortar business, a home based business, whatever, an affiliate marketing business, you just want to have your own blog and a website. So why is that? Yes, that's a great subject. It's, it's basic, but it's important to just talk about it because in a nutshell, your blog, your website, your blog or website, as you probably know, or maybe you don't know, uh, most websites, even you know, most yeah, huge companies' websites are actually you know a blog. They're just made, built around a blog. Okay, and most of them use WordPress. So, in a nutshell, a website or blog is your online real estate because this is one of your most valuable asset to build your business whether it's your, you know, it's a brick and mortar business or an online business, whatever it is, it's essential to have your online presence. And this is basically your home, your hub. And this is also a friendly place where people can learn about you, learn from you before buying from you. So why is that? Because on your blog, on your website, you will be able, it's like your, it's, as I said, it's like your virtual virtual store. So you will be able to, they will be able to see you. They will be able to get advice potential customers. So whatever your industry, whatever your niche, it's to, you're using your blog, your website to communicate with customers. So number one reason you want to have an online website or blog number one reason is your online presence as i said it's your virtual store just think about your website your blog as your virtual store and if you don't have a store online then you don't exist this is the bottom line you don't exist people won't see you and you won't be able to attract people to your website to your blog so it's essential to have your online presence it's like having your online store and every single business has needs a blog or a website. Number two, create traffic. If you don't have a blog or website, you won't be able to bring customers, to bring visitors to your website to look at to look at your products, to look at what you're offering, to look at your services. So that's why it's essential if you want to bring traffic, just like you're bringing traffic to a regular traditional business, brick and mortar business, with advertising or with a sign on your store or with um, you know whatever marketing strategies that you know that you can use for brick and mortar businesses but if you don't have an online presence then you won't be able to bring traffic and it's important to create traffic to use different internet marketing strategies to bring everyone every single person that takes a look at, at, at your, you know, at your ads, at your marketing, to bring them to your hub, to your home, to your blog, to your website. And that's where they're going to be able to just navigate and learn about what you do, whether it's like massages, whether it's uh, hair styling, or whether it's pet grooming, whether it's an affiliate product. We see many, many, many affiliate marketers online today. And most of them are just... Um, you know, and I, I was one of them, you know, at the beginning, of course, because I didn't know, I didn't have that basic knowledge. At first, it just, 
it, it doesn't make sense, you know, you just don't think about it. But it's really essential because what happens is that most uh, newbies online, affiliate newbies, they just throw links here and there. They just, you know, send people to companies' website, to the corporate website. But what's important is to bring value and just to offer, to just, you know, bring value tips, advices, and articles and then send people to look at your website at your blog and there they will be able to see at what you're marketing what you're promoting which you know which products or services you um you you are selling your uh, advertising for whether it's on a tab you can list like my products my services or products i recommend services i, I recommend or you can also and or you can also have advertisement in your widgets. So we'll just take a look at some website example uh, right after so you can just uh, have an idea of what I'm talking about. So it's important to create traffic just to bring visitors. These are potential customers. And if you don't have a website, you won't be able to use any internet strategy to bring customers, potential customers to your website. Market a product or service. So um, website or blog, it's in, you know, you, it's good to have a website or blog, but you want to monetize it. You want to be able to just earn an income to build your business thanks to this website, this blog. So how do you do, how do, you do it? Well, you advertise your products, your service, as I said, or your affiliate products, and people will just navigate to your website, read the tips. Um, whatever you're offering, whatever value you're offering, let's say you're doing a, you're just a pet, in a pet grooming business, basically, you will just offer advices on how to take good care of your dog, on how to feed him. And, you know, if you're just in a music industry, you just want to advertise, of course, you're going to advertise your music, you're going to advertise your products, and you want to also offer tips, and uh, maybe you just want to tell more about you. You just want to offer lyrics. So tips about, you know, maybe you want to help a new musician, newbies to just create their own music, right? So you will establish yourself as a leader in that industry, a go-to person. Build your brand. So number four, reason number four to have your own blog website, it's to build your brand. That's how you can build your brand online and your reputation and become an expert, place yourself as an expert in your niche. So now let's review. And the traffic you're gonna bring to your website, it's, as I said, it's existing customers or pot and or potentials or and potential customers because basically you're gonna use different marketing strategies to bring potential customers to your website, to your blog, but also your existing customers are going to come back to your website. You just want to create a traffic where your existing customers are gonna keep on going to your website, to your blog, to read new articles, to read new information, new tips, new strategies, whatever, uh, on your website. So let's take a look at different, let's take a look at different websites, blogs, Okay. Site and blog are different. Uh, there, as I said, Devi, most of them, like we can see, like most co big corporations, like CNN, like you know, different big corporations, they basically you're, they're basically using WordPress to build, you know, and WordPress is a blog. It's it's um you know a free word to build a blog, and then you just build your website around the blog. Why? Because blogging really is essential for Google search. Google loves new articles because they, they love just to, to have fresh new articles about this and that subject. So that's why it's important. If you're building a website, yes, you can build a website without having a blog, but it's highly recommended that you build a blog, that you build it around a blog because you're going to get just, you know, better referencing from Google. So let's take a look at different... I just pulled out like three or four. Do you see? Can you see my screen? Uh, 
Uh, Devi, could you could you please? Uh, I know you have a you have a website. Could you please just uh, send me your the link for your website? Oh, it's empty. You cannot see the screen. Ah, okay. Let's just give it another try. Otherwise, it's not a big deal. I could just send you the links and. Uh, okay. So let's give it another try. Can you see my screen? Not yet, white screen. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. I can just, uh, so we have the link from Devi and from what I understand, Devi, you're um, the person who, your web developer used WordPress to build your website, correct? Is it www dot or is it just like formation massage? So here, okay, www dot, okay, so you can just do the same thing with www dot here, okay. So then I'm just going to send another website, CNN. Um, okay, so then on CNN you can see they have different tabs. They have different tabs and all these tabs are basically news per category. So world, you know, different articles, different blogs about world news, US news, Africa, Asia, Europe, Latin America, Middle East, business, world sport, entertainment, tech, travel, I report. Then I think I paste it in. Okay. And now I'm going to just paste in my own blog. So we can see on CNN. So it's basically a lot of articles, right? That's what it's for, CNN is info. And then this one is, uh, so you can see on my website, there's like, you see how you just have, I just have a lot of articles, right? Blogs, and it's, you know, built on WordPress as well. And here you just have tabs like trusted courses, trusted programs. So these are just things that I recommend, products or services that I recommend. And um, then the accountant website, I pulled out an accountant website here. Oh, also on my website, I just want to sh point out to you that on the side also, what I was talking about is the widgets. The widgets are on the right side and they are basically ads, you know, picture ads about products that I uh, endorse. Now, this is the accountant website. So here there's, you know, it's basically his virtual store, of course, and there's a tab that says news. And in these news, you just have news in different categories as well. So different articles. And last is a style bar. So it's like um, hairstyling. You can just take a look at the, these different websites. Do people take their time to read Posts and blogs. Yes, of course, Evie, they do. Um, it's actually a lot better to just, you know, people on on social media don't necessarily read for too, you know, too long articles. But on your website, on your blog, they will. So that's why it's important to just put links on your social media that send people back to your hub, to your home, to your website, to your blog, because they will read. You can include videos, of course, but people like to read. That's what, you know, blogging is for. It's just to, yes, because they are interested in that subject. Exactly. And same thing, it's good to just send if you have a list, and we can, we'll talk about the list uh, in a, maybe next week. It's important to have your list and send people, and send your list, your different, your new articles. Every time you write a new article, just send it to your list because they are either your 
existing or potential customers that are interested in what you do, what you offer. So in, every time you write a new article, they're going to be interested and they're going to want to read it. And this way you also, so you bring them value, that's a service that you're giving them, and also you're just bringing traffic to your website. And it's important for, you know, web to be referenced, well referenced in Google, it's important to have a lot of traffic, okay? So, all right, so now let's, um, let's just have, oh, I see that Alejandro is here. Well, thank you very much. Uh, this was Hedy Brand. I didn't mention my name at first. I just, um, I'm just used to do it every week, but um, Hedy Brand, I'm a stay-at-home mom, and I just work online. So uh, this is now Alejandre. I'm not sure if you're in as a moderator here. Let's see. Grant permissions. Welcome, Alejandre. <laughs> Hello, Hedy. How are you doing? Oh, I cannot Can hear, hear you. Well? I cannot hear you. But maybe it's me. Is it? Oh, that's good. Oh. Perfect. It was just me. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Is it too loud? It's perfect. Is it too loud? It's perfect. Okay. Good morning, afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in the world. A weekly training. I we, we really appreciate your presence here, taking your time. You could be doing anything, but you decide to be here with us to improve, to learn, and maybe apply something that is going to help you take your business to the next level. Today, I'd like to share with you how can you, we, we discussed some time ago, some days ago, the importance of having a fan page. And today, I'd like to show you some strategies that are going to help you get more likes in, in, and have more fans. So, Hedy, I don't know if I can, let me try if I can do some screen share and uh, perhaps it's not going to work. All right. Before I, I, it seems that I have to install something before that. And before I head on that, I'd like to share with you my one minute story, which we encourage all of you that are going to present here one day with us, uh, to have your own story. I am from Brazil. I am a qualified dentist, I've been for 14 years. Then I had the opportunity to spend some time in London. I lived there for three years. Since I returned back to my country, I started another career from scratch. And I've been a consultant for the chemical industry over the last eight years. So it means that you can start something from scratch. Maybe you are just a newbie to this industry, but it doesn't matter. You don't, you, you have all the support, all the knowledge available for you. As long as you want to, you know, learn, improve, you can do this business. So it's always a challenge, but it doesn't matter because the results are worth it. And uh, I'm not sure if it's going to work yet, but if not, maybe Hedy could, you know, have access to my fan page. Could you do that, guy? Because it seems that it's not working. Okay, hold on. It seems that something is happening. So the importance of having a fan page is huge. You, you look more professional, which that is the idea. We've been talking over the last days or weeks about the importance of branding yourself. And, uh, and that's really important for you to brand yourself. Had you spoke about the... You know, it doesn't seem to be working. And maybe, Had, if you... Okay, no screen. No, that's a shame. All right. So, 
it seems that I'm not going to be able to. Oh, hold on a minute. I don't know what's going on, but okay. Let me try for the last time. If it doesn't work, yeah, it's not working. Okay, no problem. To really show you how to get my fence, I'd love to have access to my screen. And, uh, Hedy, could you maybe head to your profile and if we can make it work? So Uh, okay. Next. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, I think that if not, you're not logged in as a moderator, uh, you won't be able to share the screen. Uh, it that's, won't work. That's the idea. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No problem. But at least I can hear you. I'd like to share with you at least three ways to get more likes. So, through your profile through your profile, the first thing you should do in your about area is to under work and education is to place your fan page there. Then people can, you know, approach, can have access to your fan page and can like it from there inside your profile. Then after that, you can, you know, type the URL inside your profile, not as an administration. So under your profile, you type, you type the URL, you place it there on the top. So you are going to have access to your fan page. And from there, you can invite all your friends. I'm sure, I was checking mine, I have around 100, 1,300 friends, and just 500 of them have liked my fan page. So it means I can get more likes. So there is a, a way you go to build audience and invite your friends from there. Scroll down and check the ones that haven't liked their fan page yet. Uh, page. And you can even say, if you like my fan page, make sure you send me the link back and that I'm going to return the favor. So that, that's a great way because people like to return the favor. Because they know if they like yours, you are going to do the same for their fan page. Uh, another way is to do this through private messages and get in touch with people, friends or not, start talking with them and always ask them to like a fan page. So it's not, it's not like sending them a link to your business, but just asking them to like a fan page. I normally write something like that. If you like the content of my fan page, please like it. And another tip is, if your fan page is not full of, you know, just links and everything, if you post good content, if you place articles there, giving tips, sharing good ideas, sharing good blog posts, they are going to like your fan page. But if your fan page is just to do with your business, as we've been telling you not to do so, they are going to like it because they know they, it's a good fan page, they can share with their friends, and it's going to, you know, to add value to the marketplace. So basically, that's what I have for you today. So in a nutshell, invite your friends. We, we spoke about how can you friend request. 
So that's the idea. The more friends you get, particularly target friends, more people are going to like our fan page. So when they, you invite them, you send a request for them to like our fan page, they'll be very happy to do that because you are going to do the same. So that's why it's really important to build relationships, to make friends in your niche because they understand the importance of liking fan page and getting the, the same favor back. All right? Okay, Hadi. Thank you, Alejandre. Thank you very much. So, sorry about the screen share. We'll uh, we'll just figure out what happened. That's okay. Yeah, that happens. But. Okay. <laughs> to build your list, that's basically your list of prospects. And the other uh, tool is video email, live meeting rooms such as this one, where you can just do many things, share to, you know, tutorials, um, meet with your potential customers, with your existing customers, with, meet with your team, etc. And then internet marketing training. And you're getting all of that for $24.95 a month with a $1 trial. And I simply ask you to go back to the person who invited you to this uh, webinar if you're interested in getting your own marketing tools for $1. Thank you very much for attending. And we'll see you next week at the next No Fluff Power Training. Blessings to you all. Thank you.